Hi guys, it's Cody and welcome back to my channel. Today I'll be showing you guys how I style my new G-Wig from B Project. I first started out with the base wig from Epic Cosplay Wigs, and while it was overall the right length, I needed a little more length in the back. So I pulled out some wefts in the same color. And then began taking rows of wefts at the bottom in the back and ripping it out with my seam ripper. Then, I took the ripped out piece and used it as a guide to cut my wefts. And before I sew the wefts in, I treat the edges with fray check. I then pin the weft in place and sew it with a back stitch. As you can see, the end results made the back look much longer. Perhaps a little bit too long. I'm gonna put a clip in that and we'll come back to it later. In the meantime, let's tackle the bangs. I pinned the section out of the way, and then I attempted to do the same thing and pick it out with my seam ripper, but I failed miserably. And in the end, I decided to just snip the section off, which I am going to regret later down the line. In the meantime, let's focus on the wefts. I'm grabbing these pink wefts also from Epic Cosplay, and then sewing a few rows of it into where I snipped off. I then began layering the bangs in order to blend the two colors together. I first started by cutting the purple section, and then the pink section. It was at this point that I realized my horrible mistake. Um, it turns out that all of this cutting the wefts and then layering more wefts made the bangs unnaturally thick. And I had to use quite a bit of hairspray to flatten it out. Yeah... 0 out of 10, would not recommend. And it wasn't until I tackled the side bangs that I realized that Epic Cosplay wefts are actually quite thick, and that I really didn't need to cut all those wefts off from earlier. So yeah, lesson learned, if you ever use Epic Cosplay wefts, um, they're quite thick. You don't need to use a lot. So with that out of the way, I'm gonna go ahead and tackle the rest of the wig. I first began by cutting the bag to the length that I wanted, straighten out all the flyaways, and then layer the back to make it a little bit shorter. And to give Duji's signature rat tail flip, I first began by heating it up with my iron, and then using a Pringles can to curl it up. And with the addition of a hair clip, my wig is finally done. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and you learned something. If you did, please feel free to give this video a thumbs up. Um, if you have any more questions or comments, please feel free to tell me in the comments below. Please subscribe to this channel if you want to see more cosplay content from me, or if you want to see me dance, please feel free to check out my dance channel. I'll see you guys in my next video! Bye bye